Yesterday was basically bananas, like B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. There would have to be some outrageous Modern Masters 2017 previews today to stand up to yesterday. And in true Wizards of the Coast fashion, that's basically happened. If you missed yesterday's preview video, take a gander right here. Some hilariously ridiculous cards were revealed. Also, be sure to tune in to the channel tonight at midnight Eastern Time in a matter of hours for our exclusive Modern Masters 2017 preview card. You will not want to miss it. Trust me, our card is pretty awesome. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We are starting off strong with Basilisk Collar, and it couldn't come back soon enough. Yes! It's like Wizards is reading the financial market in advance. Tripling in price just last month, Basilisk Collar has settled around $18 each, which is just bonkers considering the previous price trend since its rotation years ago. But with this new printing in Modern Masters, the Collar will look to tank again, making it supremely affordable for Modern and Commander players alike. Rejoice in the awesome rares of the set because we're about to look at so many of them your head is gonna spin. Entreat the Angels is back as expected. After seeing Temporal Mastery and Bonfire of the Damned, this just seemed like a shoe in to be honest. Entreat has been an all-star multiple times across multiple formats, garnering most of its fame from Legacy Miracles actually. Not the most expensive card, Entreat does bring another limited powerhouse to the Mythic slot, basically guaranteeing Miracle shenanigans whenever it's drawn. I know a lot of players were hoping for Avacyn in this slot, but with what we have so far, I find very little room to complain. This is alright with me, it fits with what we've seen so far. Linvala, Keeper of Silence, is back and the godsend hits keep coming, my goodness! Some of you may know Linvala as the $40 Mythic Angel from Rise of the Eldrazi that has missed every single Modern Masters up to this point. Played in Collected Company and Chord Variants in Modern, this reprint is going to do wonders to her price, even if it just moves a little bit. Being a Mythic Rare sucks, but she was already Mythic to begin with, not really losing anything there. Just take solace in the fact that another $40 card is being reprinted. A $40 card that cost $170 if you want a foil version. Oh yeah, pretty happy about this. Commander players as well, just be excited. This is very nice. Seance is back. I mean... Okay, they clearly did this just to mess with that one guy who bought like a million copies of Seance. Man, he must be real mad. Like, like, real mad. That's what you get when you invest in a rando Dark Ascension rare. Had it coming. Blech. Stony Silence is back and yet another amazing card is reprinted at the rare level. Stony Silence is one of the premier sideboard cards in the entire modern format, finding its way into all Obzan sideboards. Adrazi, Collected Company, Control Strategies, Burn Decks, it's freaking everywhere. And considering the fact that it's only ever been printed in Innistrad, kind of makes sense that it's $8 each. Well, with this new printing, with amazing artwork from Mark Poole, that is no longer going to be the case. And sure, Stony Silence isn't going to make your money back on the pack, it is going to give you a solid modern staple that will be useful for years to come, unless Affinity is banned out, which obviously isn't ever going to happen. Phantasmal Image is making its return, and I don't think anyone is upset about it. An all-star in M12 standard, Phantasmal Image is a crowd favorite clone, which is why it's been able to maintain its $8 price tag for years now. And again, not the most expensive rare, but a super useful card, great commander staple, definitely good if you open it. This set has a way of printing a lot of rares that maybe aren't worth $10 each, but still have solid trade and inclusion value in current formats. I really enjoy where this rare suite is headed. The surprises keep coming as I am blindsided by Death Shadow, and my goodness, this reprint could not have come at a better time. Modern players can breathe a great sigh of relief that this rare from World Awake will no longer be, get this, $18 each. Yeah, that's absurd. Death Shadow is the linchpin in its namesake aggro deck and has garnered a lot of attention over the last year. This reprint is wonderful foresight by Wizards of the Coast at the rare level. It'll help hit its value while not making it completely worthless. The rare slot gets another notch in its belt, looking real nice so far. Like, wow, what a treat. Seriously didn't expect this one at all. Extractor Demon is coming back, and I'm assuming that is solely due to limited viability, considering the rare is worth about six pennies-ish. Talk about going from insanity to the bottom of the barrel. But Wizards did say that Unearth was going to be a returning mechanic, and the Extractor Demon unearths like nobody's business. Solid enough for limited. We've been doing pretty well so far, so I'll, uh, I'll let this one slide. Real glad I let that slide, because Mortician Beetle is back and it's been shifted from rare to common. 
Not something you see every day. Weirdly, the Beetle has been hovering around a dollar for almost a year now, its highest price in years. So while it made a terrible rare, it does make a pretty lucrative common, bringing its particular brand of pain to the pauper format. Nice to know we're still getting solid pauper playables in the set. Color me intrigued. Alright people, it's finally happened. If you've been waiting up to this point, you can start pre-ordering boxes. Liliana of the Veil has officially been confirmed for Modern Masters 2017, and the cherry on top of the stupid set has been placed. Liliana of the Veil is a criminal $95 each, and foils are around $200 each. At one of her highest prices since release, it couldn't be a better time for a reprint. We're talking Tarmogoyf level lottery ticket right here. Liliana is the chase mythic of the set, hands down. The value in this master set is just... I don't even know how to describe it at this point. Things are getting completely out of hand. Like, what is even happening anymore? My goodness. We've got some insane rarity shifts from uncommon to common, and we'll begin with Burning Tree Emissary becoming a common for the first time ever, which means that it's now popper legal. The Emissary has been in modern for a long time now, but with the downshift in rarity, it adds some much needed value to the common slot and will assuredly make a non-zero impact on the popper format. Speaking of popper, the next downshifted card, Magma Jet. We're just going ham with popper cards, it seems. Magma Jet has been an uncommon since Fifth Dawn, and I honestly never thought it would change rarity. Seeing it a common now, very nice. Adds more value to the rarity and assuredly more building blocks for popper strategies. Red is having a decent day so far. This is something I definitely didn't expect. Pyromancer Ascension? Straight up out of left field for me. Obviously this automatically makes me think that Storm is going to be back as a limited archetype, but the inclusion could just be a nod to the archetype that's been in modern for years. As we've come to expect, another rare that's around or above $5 each, solid popularity. Seriously, we've seen so many good rares that opening a bad one is pretty difficult to do at this point. Kind of the best problem to have if you ask me, I'll take it. Okay, yeah, Storm is clearly getting some love in this set because friggin' Past in Flames is back with some amazing artwork. Oh, obviously this was going to be mythic, it always had to be. The ability on it is disturbingly powerful, and wow do I want Storm Unlimited so badly right now. With this and the Ascension at the helm, it would be hysterical. Now even if that doesn't happen, Past in Flames is a cool card, and this artwork is going to be nice and foil, I'm a big fan. We huffin' it now, boys and girls. Crater Hoof Behemoth and all of its majestic wrecking glory is back in Modern Masters 2017, and I couldn't be happier. Sitting at its highest price in years, the Behemoth is demanding a whopping $25 per copy prior to this announcement. An absolutely ridiculous price tag, and while it is played more in Legacy than Modern, I don't give a crap. I don't want $25 hoofs, and I don't want $60 foil hoofs. No thank you. And sure, Mythic Rare isn't going to destroy the value, but it will hit it significantly at least for a while. And that's good enough for a lot of players to get their hands on the beast while they can. Huge fan of this. The set keeps delivering. I am telling you, dang. And Abrupt Decay. Thank you, Stellar Reprint for the modern and legacy players alike. Printed in the rare slot, as it should be, Abrupt Decay is around 8 to $9 each, which isn't super high, but enough to make most of your money back when you open a pack. Bomb and Limited, if you're in black, green, foils from the only time it's ever been printed are $40 each. Seriously, it's another solid rare. The set's getting crazy in the rare slot. There's a lot of mid-level strength. I like this. More rarity shifts. Falcon Wrath Aristocrat is back, and she's been downshifted to rare from Mythic, and that is awesome. I love downshifts in rarity, and I am pleased that the Aristocrat isn't going to take up a Mythic slot. Super happy about that. Plus, you know, it's barely a couple of dollars. Been that way since late 2013, to be honest. Not especially exciting, but it's a solid card nonetheless. And in another expected move, Sphinx's Revelation is leading the blue-white draft archetype to victory at the Mythic Rare slot. Much like in Treat the Angels, this is definitely how we saw it going. There aren't too many standout powerhouses from Return to Ravnica block, but the Revelation is clearly one of them, and sure it isn't a billion dollars anymore, but the card is still in modern control decks and Commander Blue-White strategies, so again, I'll take it. I do enjoy these types of cards in the Mythic slot, you know, limited bombs. I guess that's going to do it for Modern Masters 2017 previews, at least for now. This set keeps blowing up day after day with more and more outrageous reprints that have been asked for seemingly for years. So what are you all thinking? Is this finally what you want? What else could you possibly need from the set on the high end? 
Personally, all I'm looking for now are some more solid uncommons, and we're good to go. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Also, be sure to tune in later tonight for our exclusive Modern Masters 2017 preview card that will definitely further excite you for this set. Trust me, it's going to be wild. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. I swear, every day that goes by, the pre-order price on the set goes up $10. Today, we're looking at $210 per box pre-ordered right now. You have to be ready to admit that the set's bonkers. You just have to. It's full of outrageousness. If you want to get your pre-orders in while you still can, be sure to click the link on the screen. Helps the channel. You get an amazing new set. We all win. Enjoy.